Hey howdy folks, uh, and it's me, it's Yui, I'm back for yet another episode of our Red Dead Redemption 2 campaign replay, and I believe we're up to episode 38. And of course we are playing now as John Marston, as I uh, mentioned last episode. And, uh, yeah, I mean... Building a house and all that, you know, setting up a ranch, it's all been fun and all. Kinda. <laughs> Meeting up with uh, old favourites again, uh, Sadie and Charles. Not so much Uncle, but definitely Sadie and Charles um, has been good. And we are now back. So, I need to go for a rest. There's all of my um, stats are drained. Oh, I can't go rest in there. I've got to go rest at the uh, camp around the back. I also really need a shave. Oh, I can rest in there. There's a nice big old house though. Ooh wee! Bit of a mess here. I can actually fast travel. Uh, we'll go for morning. Have a nice big rest. Kitchen, is it? Mm. Alright, who do we gotta go see? We've got Uncle over there. And, uh. What's this? Albert Mason needs some further help with his photography. Interesting. Funny, I'm a wanted man in, uh. Oh, that's right, in Lemoyne, of course. Oh dear. Well, let's go and see Uncle first, since he's the closest. How's my horse doing? Good. You're a good filly. Is he over in the barn? Is there a new barn? Holiday. I was making money. And to think, you call me lazy. You've done a great job. Well, that crew did help. <sighs> the house, the barn. Look at this place. <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank you. Thank you both. This calls for a drink. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. But we go better when we've brought our four tack to Cathead. 
Come bustle, bustle, drink about, and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out, and then all hands to sea. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. Come bustle, bustle, drink about. And let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out, and then all hands to sea. What's got at sea we spend on shore on sweethearts and our wives. What's got at sea we spend on shore at sweethearts and our wives. And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. Come bustle, bustle, drink about, and let us merry be. Our can is full, let's break it out, and then our hands to see. Yeah! <laughs> John! Get out here! Uncle's gone! He's fine! Let me sleep. Get out here now! <sighs> that fat man will be fine. No, he won't. Skinners. You think? Of course. My guess is they went that way. But my other guess is they know we're coming after him. So what choice do we have? None. We just gotta keep our wits about us. We know this is a trap. <clears throat> Let's go. I tracked them to the road. We'll pick up the trail there. Shit. It's like we forgot about them. We should have been ready. It happened. There's nothing we can do to try and get him back. We let our guards down for one moment. Hush. Up here. You see that? Blood. Dear Lord. They've gone up towards the tall trees. Come on. Yeah. John, look. We should agree on something. If it's really bad, this might not be about saving it. What the hell are you talking about? If it's really bad, it might be better. To stop the pain. Jesus, you mean to... I mean, you can live a week without a scalp. But it ain't a good week. A gut wound, you can live a month, but it's horrible. What they've done to him might have killed him already. With only hurt to come. We get him, and we see, okay? We'll make it his call if we can. But it may be we have to decide. Okay? Okay. It's a bit grim. Something? Yeah. You think they saw us coming? I don't know. I guess we'll soon find out. We'll be better off going on on foot. Okay. Leave the horses in the trees there. Repeater, no. I want my usual rolling block. They're getting a bit dirty, aren't they? Actually, how many fire arrows? I've got eight. Okay, that's handy to know. To the tree. Come on. Up there, to the right. Two Skinners. Lookouts? Probably. Take one, I'll take the other. John! They're down. 
Move. Jeez, Charles, you missed. They were waiting for us. Uncle should be close. He better be. Keep your head. We'll find him. Come on. Hold. Patrol to our left. the ranch they'll come this way we should have burned it while they slept the burning's better if they're awake for it he's old and sick he won't last long then when they come they'll come for a corpse let's fight he was talking about uncle he's alive mm -hmm. come on they've passed let's go Question is, can we stay stealthy? Hold up. You hear that? Yeah. Wagon there. Drag it. Is it Uncle? No. Some other poor bastard. Let's follow. You might lead us to the camp. Stay with it. Stopping. What do you see? He's picking up. The poor bastard's dead. If he's walking with the body, we must be close. Let's take him down before he gets to the rest. Take him, John. Accidentally hit the uh, body. I think I see something. Uh huh. Yeah, that must be their camp. What do we do? Let's get up on that boulder. Take a look. <sighs> Hang in there, old man. Lots of dead bodies around. Okay. Okay, I can't see. Let's see this mist. Can you look too? Hold on. All right. Binoculars it is. Don't get too close. Oh. My God. We gotta go get him. Careful. Where are they? Where are they? I don't care. Come on! Uh, Charles! Uh, 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 behind you! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, kids! The surprise is over! We're here for you! Okay. 
We've got some time. Let's get Uncle! 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 What have they done to you? Oh, we gotta get you down. You're okay, old man. I look okay. You look awful. You'll be okay. Those bastards. We got it. Oh. Oh, looks like we got here just in time. God damn it. I'll carry him. Come on, Uncle. Got him. Because here come the rest of them. Don't get infected. It's much better than I feared. Hear that, old man? This could have been worse. He's pretty weak. Yeah, I bet. Stay with us, you old bastard. Oh, don't let me fall, please. Over here. Almost back. Hang in there, old timer. Does it look okay? Oh, bastard. You boys, don't mention it. I thought I was dead. Uh, don't get all sentimental now, old man. And I'll really think you're dying. It's gonna be okay. A few days, you're gonna be just fine. You're a survivor. Easy, easy. Okay. He'll be fine. You think they'll be back? Maybe, but I doubt it. We must have killed most of them. Now, this is your land. Was it theirs once? I don't think so. I met a fellow said the Skinners rode down about two years ago. They're just angry men on a rampage, and we got in their way. Sort of like we used to be? Yeah, exactly like we used to be. Mm. 
Maybe we should take up torture. <laughs> uh, we got Uncle singing instead of torture. We're gonna be safe here, John. Hmm? Yeah. You, your family, you all be safe. I hope so. I really do. If she ever comes back. Poor uncle. So. Side note, my uh, pistols are in desperate need of cleaning. She's back! What the hell? And Jack's back too! You... You're... <laughs> I... You always did have that fine way with words. You doing alright, son? Sure, Pop. Can I go see the house? Sure. Give him some time. He'll warm up. It's quite a place you got here. It's yours. Ours. I should see about that boy. Who's my new rival? Oh, that's Rufus. He's loyal, dumb, and angry, so he reminded us of you. That's your idea of a joke, miss? I guess. Nice. How do we do? Don't know. No idea how we did. But anyway, we got jobs that need doing. I guess. So do we uh, uh, shovel some more shit? Clean up the manure. Yeah, I don't want to get in some of my nice clothes. I'm really standing in it. Yeah, I was now just about to walk in it. I thought he said he didn't want cows. Hmm. Milk the cow. Let's milk the cow. Right. 
cows being milked. What else we got? What other jobs have we got? I don't know what's over here. That looks like it for now. Okay. We've got Jack and Abigail. What I really need is to clean those damn weapons of mine. But, anyway. That's enough work for the day. Oh, it's such hard work. Um, let's give you a clean, actually. Brush it off. That's better, girl. There you are, Missy. I suppose I could give him a hand, actually. over here. Oh, use. Yeah. That's another thing we can do. Deliver water around the ranch. Do, do, do. So riveting. Oh, there's a gate right there. God damn it. Couldn't tell if it was a gate or not. <laughs> Alright, we'll deliver some water. What the hell? Look at me. Working the white man's land for no pay. How would I let this happen? Look, if if you need money, I'll get you money. <laughs> I'm just joking with you. <laughs> right now, this is good for me. And I know you do the same. You say the word, I'll be there. All right. Alright, let's pour out. Get more water from the pump. Might as well. So... And so we are actually growing some crops. Hmm.
Kind of a weird... Bit of a weird glitch, wasn't it? Anyway... Another chore to do. Alright. I mean, I guess. Kind of disappeared, though, didn't it? Yeah, it just disappeared. Just. Strange. See what Jack's up to. Hey, getting on, son? Uh, fine, sir. What are you doing? Reading and uh, playing with the dog. You wanna go fishing or something? Not particularly. I don't really like fishing. Do like eating though, right? Cause we gotta find some food. Come on. Let's head this way to the stream. Okay, sir. Why you gotta be like that? I'm sorry. It's okay. Do you wish I was more like you? Like me? No. But... Let's keep going. Can Rufus come fishing? Dogs scare the fish. But... If you'd like him to, I guess. So... You don't care if we don't catch fish? Yeah, I... I'm not very good at this. At fishing or walking? At talking with you. But fishing will be fun. Sure. Unless you want nothing but beans again. No. I'd like to fish. <laughs> and it'll be pretty fun, I promise. Okay. It's fine being out with you even though I've can't say the right thing. And you, Pop. We should... Let's do more of this. Sure. I, I mean... Yes. I'd like that. Pretty countryside, ain't it? I guess. Grass and the light. There's a lot of ugly in this world, but sure as hell is a lot of beauty. Yes. It is a pretty, pretty, but simulated country. It's tough at your age. Just land and light. But to me, it's, it's, it's life. I can't explain it. Okay. What are you going to be when you're older? I want to travel. See the world. That's a good idea. Then, become a lawyer and, and help people. That's not a lawyer, that's a... Are you laughing at me? No. Never. Just... Whatever you do, do it better than me and your mom. We had it. However we had it. We didn't make the most of it until now. Okay. Okay.
Alright, kid, let's get some fish. This spot This is a real good fishing spot. Folk always say that, and hours later they've caught nothing. Ain't you just the leading authority on everything? Well, ain't it so? Well, maybe. In this case, it's true. I hear there's some real big fish in here. Big old steelheads. Hard to catch, but real good eating. Hard to catch. Get your excuses in early. That dog of yours know he's owned by a complaining know-it-all? <laughs> Come on, son. I'm sorry. No, you ain't. It's all right. Come on, let's fish. All right, so we need the bait. Oh, I've still got these. Uh, worm bait. Sure. Uncle Jose, he was the fisherman, wasn't he? That's right. I remember Uncle Arthur taking me, though. There's one. Arthur taught you how to fish now, did he? Huh. Yeah. I suppose he did. That's nice. Bite. I got a bite. All right. Now stay calm and start reeling them in. Not too fast. You want to set the hook in tight. He's... He's strong. Good. Now, reel him in. Stay calm. Give him a tug. Now, reel. I got him. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? How do you feel? <laughs> I don't... I feel... I don't know. Thanks, Dad. I told you this was a good fishing spot. You did. Hey, my trip with Arthur, I remember now. I picked some flowers and a couple of men showed up. Big ones like there. From the city. No one like that's gonna know. show up here. Relax. Thank the Lord. He's a dog. Where is he though? I don't know. I'll go find them. We got a steelhead. Woohoo! Rufus! Here, boy! Alright, more worm bait. There he is up there. Let me come help you look. Just give me a sec. Where'd that fish go? I think he's there. Come on, come on, come on. Coming. Dad! Please come here! Come on! Snake! Rufus! Uh. Rufus! Rufus! No! It's a snake! I see. He bit him! Calm no. down, boy. And Jack? You calm down too. Come here. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, Pa? Well, suck it, Dad. Don't oh. oh, I see. Are you sucking? Well, spit it out. God, they, they, they really. The out. This game really doesn't uh, Dad, hold, Rufus, no. hold your hand in any way, He's does gonna it? Die. He's gonna die. He'll be okay. We just gotta get him somewhere warm and calm. He's gonna die. Go get the fishing rods and the fish. 
I'm taking the dog home. Abigail! Can I get a hand? What, what's going on? Dog got bitten by a snake. Let's look after him. And the boy. Grab his rug. Is it gonna be okay? Jack, the dog is gonna be just fine. We never should have gone fishing. Sometimes, sometimes, you just don't know how things are gonna turn out. But, but the dog. The dog's gonna be fine. It's okay, son. Yep. Now a thing or two about bloody snakes. Oh, silver. I'm supposed to. I, let me guess. I didn't do the venom. All right. I don't know. I caught several fish actually. But anyway, we've got something up here. I'm assuming. Some like hay bale stuff. All right, well, let's go have a look. It's near the house, anyway. We've got sheep going. So good. Where's the stuff just keeps disappearing? Oh, here's some hay bales, hang on. Pick up the hay bale, there we go. So the feeding points. See the dog's fine. Hey, Papa's. doing this right I think you're doing fine but you're asking the wrong man I'm still learning all this myself I just want to do good pa I'm gonna put it inside okay See why it looks so weird. Right. Okay, right, well, we'll carry the hay, hay bales and do another chore. It's a quick way to gain uh, high honor, so. Stay fit at the same time. So now we've got chickens as well. We can feed chickens. Um, sure. I'll do later, I'll do the, this next one uh, with Abigail. After this. But you know, we've got to do our part around the farm. We can't expect everyone to do it for us.
And lost hay bale. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, time to get changed. Got my spare clothes in here. Ah, much better. What is this over here? Oh, maize. Oh, okay, yeah, let's feed the chickens. Right, we can do that later. Alright, Miss Abigail. Where are you? There you are. So, you happy? I think so. <laughs> and I did good? You did good. So, <laughs> am I forgiven? <laughs> Never. Ah, you are a hard woman. <laughs> Ma, Pa, come out here. Sadie, <laughs> you're alive. John, it's... Sadie Adler. <laughs> well, how'd you know she was... We've... I'm sorry, you I thought I... You well. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> 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 oh, tell me about you, darling. No arm to the teeth like that. I'm a working woman, Abigail. I'm a bounty hunter, bodyguard. I protect the gold prospectors up in the hills. I'm thinking of starting my own transportation business. I was thinking maybe if John wanted to earn some money. My husband, he ain't looking for that kind of work. Took on a lot of debt when we bought this place. And you're working for her to pay it off? Yes, sometimes I was. But I thought we said no more of that. No, you said that. What else am I gonna do? I'm a goddamn man. It's legal work, Abigail. And I never got killed. It's hunting down fools for the government. Easy. Even Jack could do it. <laughs> Don't you put those stupid ideas in the boy's head. He's gonna do something better than this. Like what? Writing silly stories? I'm sorry, Abigail. Really, I am. I just thought if you wanted to earn some money... How many times do I gotta bury you, John Marston? Never. You ain't never burying me. It's legal work that I can handle. There's a... There's something else. Micah? Bounty hunting is one thing, but goddamn Micah? I heard he was up country, or some fellow who sounded just like him. Killed a family, bar a little girl who escaped. Leave Micah alone. Listen, I'm sorry, Abigail. I came by because I was riding by chasing a fella, and I thought John wanted to earn some extra money. <sighs> what is it? Abigail, we need the money. Some fella robbed his business, you know, an accountant or something. Came down from Rhodes, I believe. How much does it pay? It pays good. Well, the soft ones usually do. Okay, then. I guess. But Micah? No. All right. John Marston, let's go. Just you bring him back to me. You hear? Of course. All right. Say your goodbyes, <clears throat> John. We're off. 
Goodbye. <laughs> you ready? Follow me. We're going up into tall trees. Hey. My guns are nice really good. See the place. Finally. Abigail's back with the boy. You must be so pleased, John. And the ranch? You were right. It's really something. I think I'm gonna ask her to uh, marry me. I got a ring. It was it was Arthur's. I found it in a bundle of things that I've kept. You're marrying Abigail, or it, asking her at least. Oh my! I never took you for a romantic. No, me neither. But <laughs> it's something I've thought about, and I, I think, I know, I want it. Okay. I guess I thought you were married already, long ago. No, n not really. Not officially. Well, I'm real happy for you, Joan. Being married, it made me real happy. Yeah, it works for some people, doesn't work for others. Whatever floats your boat, folks. We're cutting off the main track up here. My man's in need to post. So, we're coming up on where he's been seen. This moron accountant, Marshall Thurwell, been trying to live like an outdoorsman. Amping out here. He's lucky the Skinner brothers ain't found him. Well, they might have. Up here. How are my guns? Yeah, not doing too good. But I can maintain them, apparently. Hopefully, I Let's just need a lasso. Get down. Let's take a look around. Something's been here. This. This looks. Looks like a bear or something came through here. <sighs> fella left in quite a hurry. Here. Oh, he was from the south, whoever he is. Then maybe he's our man. If he ain't become some bear's lunch. Yeah, it looks like they went this way. Yeah, I already... Him or the bear? Both of them. I think I need, um... Come oh, on. Man. They ain't here. I had the track! Anyway. Mount up. Let's find him. I had the damn track. Uh. Okay, I think I got him. Follow me. Down there. Yeah, this way. It keeps going through here. There's a cabin up. Jesus, Sadie, what are you doing? Oh, crap. Ugh, well, I ain't pretty. Oh boy, that our fella? Maybe, but looks more like a local farmer to me. Or what's left of one? Mm. Is he gone? You, Marshal Thorwell? That I am, ma'am. 
I'm here to arrest you on behalf of the state of Lemoyne. You're wanted for theft, fraud, and avoiding arrest. Is the monster still out there? No, I think he's gone. Come out! Come on. No shoes. <laughs> Keep walking. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming. Look out! <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, fucking monster. I hate grizzlies. Sir Will! Get out here! Before I come in there and kill you myself! I, I, I'm coming. Pathetic. Waiting to see if that animal ate us? No, ma'am. That weren't it. Yes, it were. Come here! Come here. <laughs> Sir Will, call yourself a man. Well, it's like Abigail says. That's one word for you. <laughs> Wait, where's my hat? I can't believe we didn't kill that bastard. Gave him something to remember us by, at least. Hang on. Get back up there, John. I'm getting my hat. Or as you would say, my hat. <laughs> Oh, can clean it. There you go. You all right, John? Yeah. yeah. Ah. Just we always find a way to almost get killed, don't we? What's up? Of course, I got a friggin' cattleman. It's in terrible condition. Worn cattleman? Where'd I get that from? Anyway. Mm -hmm. That's kind of the problem. Maybe it wasn't right of me to bring you along on those really heavy things. You're lagging, y'all. Yeah, I'm cleaning. I have no real other opportunity to do it, so I'm doing it now. was a little dreamy. So, back to what I was saying. A family man and all. Seeing all this? Uh, I don't know if I can do it again. I'm my own man, ain't I? I get to make those calls. I needed the money. You are your own man, sure. But, I'm my own woman. And I get to say who I ride with. And... I don't know if your ranch, and your kid, and your wife are things I want to be worrying about when I hear a gunshot. Yeah, fair enough. Those are fine new clothes, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I spend my cash on fancy clothes and horses and shiny new guns. That's because I ain't got anything else that matters to me anymore. Fair enough. Who's this up here? Wrong straight have you now, you idiot! Shit! This is a cold business, ain't it? Yep. It does require a certain level of detachment. You ever think if it's right? No. I just see orders on the wall. And I try and fill them. And if there's other bastards after the same orders as I am, I get competitive. It's called industry. And if you ain't noticed, 
Everyone is out there doing it. I guess they are. Uh, you said earlier you knew something about Micah. You gonna tell me what you know? Are you sure you wanna hear about him? Ain't all that back at your ranch enough? If I find him, I will handle it. Your bounties or transport work? That's your decision to bring me along or not. But... But Micah? That's something we... Well, I... I gotta do, with or without you, Sadie. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. I know. Well, I'm hearing things. A lot of things. Still, mostly just whispers, but I think you might be pretty close. When you hear something real, you bring it to me. Okay, I'll bring it to you. But you think about if this is what you really want. Everything you can get, and everything you could lose. I understand all of that. Of course I do. Okay, then. Here we are. Let's get him to the jailhouse. Okay, hitch up. Yeah! All right. Here, put him down. Go on. Get home to your wife. I'll let you know if I hear anything about Micah. You need a hand taking him in? Him? <laughs> no, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, I'll send your share to the bank when I get paid. Thank you. <sighs> All right, definitely time for a haircut. That's a silver. I think it took too long. Yep. Yeah. Cleaning my guns. It's fine. And, uh, still got some time, so all good. Let's, uh, let's go to the barber shop real quick. What's the hold up? Jesus. Alright, we gotta go talk to this guy. I talked to him once, as Arthur. You got a problem you want me to solve? Hey, partner. I thought we were looking for my mate Gavin. Somebody help me! Gav? Gav? I've lost my friend! Somebody help me, please! Trying to help you. Partner? I'm... I'm looking for my friend. And Gavin! For Gavin. Has he been gone long? Uh, yeah. A few years. A few bloody years. <laughs> I can't, um... I can't remember what he looks like. <laughs> I'm looking for him, but I don't know who he is. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Me too. Me too. <laughs> I've wasted my life. I've wasted my life looking. I looked, but I never saw. I saw nothing. <laughs> Come in. Good luck. Come in. Oh. <laughs> I am so worried. Oh, Gav. Gav. Uh, Gav. Where are you? Hopefully we find him one day for him. Sorry. Sorry, officer. This is really worrying. Gavin! <laughs> Did you hear Nelly and Flo had fallen out of the Turns out neither of them were too old to cheat. You goddamn moron! Damn straight. Hi there, come on in. So what'll it be today? Usual haircut. 
My hair seems to grow a million miles an hour. Now that isn't half bad, huh? <laughs> that dude outside. <laughs> Um, yep, trim them to a one. I mean, hmm. I say or you look nobody's seen hide nor hair of him. Thank you, sir. Gavin! All right, you're ready to go. That was just beyond belief. Gavin! <laughs> All right, you know where I am. How do you do? Hello. You good? Good girl. Some drunk toppled off the pier last week. They found him drowned the next morning. What's this place coming to? Yep. So it goes. I'm Philly. All right, let's get back. So, we're gonna get back to Abigail. Um, yeah. Uh, Come on, lady. Where are you? I somehow, I don't think he's gonna find him. So much damn traffic. Holy hell. Oh, actually. I do have a bounty to pay off. So I'll do that real quick. I see you. Hold on. Pay bounty. Gotta be done. Twenty bucks. Wow. Oh. Things I'll put up with you. Okay, Missy. It's a cart in the middle of the road. Yep. Totally normal. It's all tran oh yeah, it's all stuff being transported. Oh, I see now. <laughs> Dead body in that. What the hell? Alrighty, and we're back. Um, no more hay, hay bales. No, you be quiet. Oh, I'm having a moment of repose. Well, you should be working. Oh, I, I've done my work. Not how I heard it. You should be grateful. I'll be grateful when you get off your behind. <laughs> Don't shoot. Shoot yourself. Don't shoot myself. I'll tell you what, woman, was a damn sight more peaceful round here before you came back. You're just lucky I'm a soft touch. I should sling it out by your ear. Uh, it's walk or work, old man. I've got a lumbago. You'll have more than that in a oh, minute. Oh, John, tell her about my health. Do what the lady says. I've worked my fingers to the bone building this place, Abigail Roberts. Marston! Abigail Marston. Miss Marston to you. Miss Marston to you. Why you let him stay? He's actually been... Pretty useful, in a useless sort of way. Who's that? No idea. 
Friend or foe? We'll soon find out. It's the Gettys boys. From Proghorn Ranch? Yeah. Mr. Milton! Mr. Milton! Duncan! Sir, Ma found some old furniture in the attic. Pa thought maybe you folks would want it as a housewarming present, you know? Uh, they send their regards. Uh, how kind they are! Tell your Ma and Pa we're very touched. Where would you like the furniture? Uh, just over here. <laughs> then we can arrange. This is real kind of y'all. You saved the ranch. Pa said this is the least he could do. Well, that's about everything. <laughs> Send your pa my best regards. Tell him he's got friends for life in me and my family. Bye, sir. Ma'am. I can't believe this. It's so kind. Sure. But there's still some more things that we need to get. How about we take a ride into town? It's been ages since we spent any time together. It has. Let's go get the wagon. Okay, let's go. I feel like we ain't done nothing together like this since... Since, uh... Since forever? Maybe not forever, but a long time. We ain't had the time, you know? We've both been working hard. And now we got something to show for it. The ranch, this life. It's so nice, John. I hope it'll only get nicer. May I help you, my lady? <laughs> oh, no, John. things we still need. We can buy them from that catalog. Let's go have some fun. I know your idea of fun, John Marston. Oh, I ain't had a drink and, well, I left those things behind me. No, I mean, good, wholesome fun. Like, uh, decent folk have. We decent now? I guess. <laughs> well, decent or not, I still got some errands to run. That's fun. What would you like to do? Maybe get our portrait took, for starters. Portrait? There's a feller in town takes photographs. You want to stare at a portrait of yourself all day long? <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but you ain't that much to look at. No. I want a picture of us. Me and you. Okay? Okay, then. Sure. Is there anything else you want? I don't know. Let's just... Walk around and see where it takes us. I do have to be back by dinner time. Uncle Jack and Charles will manage fine without you. Hell, looking after themselves may even be good for them. <laughs> They'll starve. And that may be good for them, too. With any luck, Jack and Charles will eat up. <laughs> Don't get my hopes up. <laughs> so maybe you're right. We'll stay. You know I am. OK, then. Orchard it is. I'll just put us here. Let me help you down. Why are you being so courteous? I don't know. There you go. I'm gonna head to the drapers for a minute. Won't take long, but I need to get some materials. You wanna come with me or wait here? And after that, we can go get our photo taken? Yeah, after that, we can get our photo taken. Get that picture taken. It means that much to you. It does. Today it does. You're acting kind of funny. I am kind of funny. <laughs> A different <laughs> kind of funny. Am I annoying you? No. 
I like this version of you. It just... It just ain't you. Well, maybe I've changed. Finally? I don't know. Probably not. Hello, madam. Sir. Hello, sir. How can I help you? We're... We'd like to get our photo taken. Oh, photo. Yes, yes, that I can help you with. Yes. So, uh, what do we do? I'm sorry, what did, what did you want? Uh, our portrait taken. Oh, well, we do that. Yes, wonderful. <laughs> Handsome couple, quite... Something, but you need a background. A background? Yes. We have Niagara Falls. Paris by night. <laughs> we have Mount Vesuvius and its ruins. We have the open prairie. T take, a, take a look. Pick one. Okay. What do you think? Let's see the others. Just pull the lever there to release the next one. It's a weighted system, you see. Pulleys, like at the theater. We have quite a number to choose from. How about this one? It's dramatic, ain't it? <laughs> Let's see what else they got. This is pretty. Or spooky, maybe. Let's see everything. That's nice. It's like being back home. Was that all of them? This is, uh, mm, this is a bar. Surely there's a photograph of you in a bar already. Look, this was your idea, John. It's up to you. I think I, yeah, forget the, uh, prairie one. You've seen all of them. Anything you like? Ah, this one. Wonderful. That will be simply perfect. You know, I wish I had the Congo River, but they require grass skirts. I couldn't afford them. It's just so exotic. <laughs> you stay there. I'll make a pose that you feel comfortable with. Well, this is dignified. <sighs> Try to enjoy. I think I'd rather be cleaning the outhouse. <laughs> Thought you were a cowboy, not a poser. Oh no, I'm a poser. I learned from the best. That is true. Yeah, that one. Or... That might be the one. All right then, fine. How's this? Perfect. Now, give me a minute. I'm going to develop this for you. Wait here. Take your time. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing at all. Tough guy. Gunslinger. Excuse me? <laughs> Nothing. I didn't say anything. I just posed. Shut up. <laughs> you know, you're not very nice to me. Oh, I'm nicer than you deserve. <laughs> True. <laughs> here. Came out beautifully. <gasps> sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah oh, look at that face on you. Be quiet. <laughs> what do I owe you? Five dollars. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. I'll see you again. Oh, yes. He'll probably come in for a pose. He seemed to enjoy himself. Bye now. <laughs> what shall we do now? There is one thing I hadn't done. I've never been to see one of them moving picture shows. Never? No. Well, come on. Let's go do that. You sure? Of course. It's the marvel of the age. I love marvels. <laughs> okay, good. Well, let's go. Thank you. It's it's real fine doing normal things. Come in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's playing? Something called sketching for sweetheart, I think. 
Oh, hello. Two tickets, please, to see Sketching for Sweetheart. That'll be 50 cents, please. Okay. What's it about? I have no idea. Okay. Thank you again. I just work Come on here. In. <clears throat> A mystery awaits. You might be cold. John. <laughs> That's women for you. Don't you dare, John Marston. <laughs> what? I'm watching. Please. Shh. <laughs> Looks so real. It's not. Don't be such a sour puss. Shh. <laughs> Stop it. She's a piece of work. Really? Shh. Oh my. Is it over? I think so. Come on. We'll see. Be seeing you. All right. <laughs> We better get home. <laughs> oh, we never get out. The farm will be fine. <sighs> the farm. I love hearing that. Let's go down to the lake for a minute. The lake? Sure. <laughs> Why, you finally gonna drown yourself? <laughs> In a manner of speaking, I guess I am. <laughs> Happily so. You're acting real strange. <laughs> no, I'm not. Come on. You're a silly man, John Marston. What, ab what about Jim Milton? Oh, well, he's even worse. <laughs> Let me help you in. <laughs> like I said, mighty strange. I like to row. <laughs> Since when? You can hardly swim. I don't plan on capsizing. I wonder whose boat this is. It don't matter. We'll have it back. I hope they don't think we're... They won't think anything. Don't think. We're borrowing. I hope we don't got fleets or nothing. She's seaworthy, okay? <laughs> Relax. Look around. All I can see is a strange man rowing. I thought it was John Marston, but now I suspect he's been replaced with an imposter. <sighs> Here's good. Ain't it pretty? John, you can't tease me like that. Will you? Will you marry me? <laughs> Get up. I am married to you. No, I mean proper. In front of God. You serious? I got this ring. I've had it for a long time. Take it. You serious? It would make me very happy if you would... We've lived a lot of lives. Let's just live this one from now on. You and me, Jack, a family, by law. John, I, I never, I didn't know it mattered to you. It didn't, but now it does. If you think this is dumb, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> 
shut up, you silly man, and kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but it is nice. Very wholesome. Good on him. <clears throat> Alright. Loading something up. Okay. for that. What? Serious. I gotta get some stupid <laughs> objectives. But, I think that'll be a perfect place to leave it there on a high note for once. Um, so, let's do a quick save just so everyone knows. Where I've saved it up to, so I'm not doing any save scummy. Except, of course, that one time when the game was crashed spectacularly on me. And, uh, yeah, I think we'll leave it there. So, thank you so much for joining us, folks. Hope you can join us next week. There's still a little bit more to come, I would say. Um, so, yeah, we hope to see you then. Anyway, until that time, take it easy, everyone, and bye for now. <laughs>